Hello and welcome to the lecture. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our torso. So I'm gonna make a new vector layer. I'm gonna bring it down below the head and this torso. Okay. And let's go ahead and start drawing out his torso. Let's go ahead and bring our reference, imi reference, reference image back. And like I said before, Imagine everything is just one giant shape. So this is just like a, I guess like a barrel on top of a, below a marshmallow. I don't know, that's how I'd imagine what this guy is looking like. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's make sure we get the same styles. There we go, all right. So there is his body there. Okay, let's bring that in just a little bit. So I'm just going through, go ahead and take that off, but I'm gonna go through and I'm just going to start curving everything so that um, it looks good. Okay, almost there. I'm actually, uh, I'm trying to think if I wanna do this. I actually want him to have a bit of a spine. I don't want him just to be just a round blob thing right there. So I will have a bit of his back arching, arcing, arching or arcing, I don't know, right there. Okay. So if we see the uh, render here, looking pretty good. All right, and because that was really quick, let's go ahead and start on the arms. Let's go ahead and bring our reference image back and let's go ahead and make out our shapes. So, hmm, I'm trying to think. To make switch layers, a switch layer is basically one layer switching to another one. Um, for hands, it's recommended to actually keep your hand layer and your arm layer on two separate layers. So we're actually not gonna do our hands for this portion of it. Okay. It's also important when you do, so for example, if I go to the torso, when you go to the torso, I didn't put it exactly in the middle there. Um, you gotta imagine your your bones, when they bend in Anime Studio, your bones are gonna be bending at the point locations. So right here, if I have a point here and a point here, obviously that's gonna bend that way. If I had the point way down here, this portion of the, the character would be bending really weird while this one would bend, be bending more normally. Um, same with the arms. So if I highlight everything, you can see the location of the elbow. So the back of the elbow is right here, Front of the elbow is right here. That's just an extra point, not really needed. Um, and yeah, it's always good to keep that in mind. When rigging an anime studio, the rig is gonna be moving at the points, at the, at the location of where the points are. Um, like I said before, I do different types of rigs. I typically would do a, a bicep and a forearm separated so that the forearm can come in front of the body and behind the body. But with this character, it's not a really a big issue. We'll make it work because uh, he's not really going to have too 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 much movement. Okay, so let's go back to our thing here. Um, I'm going to highlight or I'm going to select the shape with the select shape tool, and I'm going to put my fill back on. For some reason, the fill was not on. Okay, so there we go. There's that arm. I'm just going to, I will call this actually not arms. This will be his, uh, so our right, so arm right. And I'm, oh, I'm gonna duplicate the layer. I'm gonna call this arm left. And I'm just gonna shift it over, bring it over here, make sure it's below the torso. And I'll just shrink it down just a little bit because it's, it's perspective. It's just a little bit further away from the from the viewer. Okay. So that looks okay. So going into the arm, we don't want the full shape here. 
So let's go back into the arm, go to the hide edge tool, uh, which is H on your keyboard. And I'm just going to hide those two edges there. All right, perfect. Going back to the head, we're also going to hide some edges. I hide this one. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to add one more point. But I'm going to hide this edge. This point actually probably doesn't even need to be there. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to hide this edge and bring one more point out to there. And I'll hide that edge. So as you add points, you can use that uh, to be able to bring out your, your stroke exposure just a little bit more. Okay. It's looking a little goofy. I think I'm going to fix his arm just a little bit there. That looks just a little bit better. Um, alt right, alt right click, and I'm going to just bring that up just a little bit as well. I'm going to go back to his torso, and I'm just going to adjust that just a little bit from what we actually have from our reference drawing. Uh, I could see that if I erase the torso, his arm is really just loosely hanging there. If I took off the head, his arm is actually just floating. So I'm actually going to bring this all up. Just round that off. Same thing, make sure the other arm was rounded off. It helps when you're when you're doing movement in Anime Studio to keep round shapes uh, for shapes that aren't exposed. It just makes it easier for you. All right, and there we go. We got the uh, the head and the body with those arms created, um, and we'll just do a little bit more fine tuning on his stomach here. But yeah, that looks good. For the next lecture, we're going to add the legs. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you want to help support the channel, I have the link to all the full paid courses down in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.